So listen up. DUT has made things so much easier for us. Once you become an official DUT student, you can do all sorts of things online, like register, see your exam timetable, and check your exam results. You can even make payments if you have a credit card. Yo, you have access to the self-service students enabler system on campus, on your computer at home, and even on your smartphone. Also note that from January 2020, DUT will be implementing the single registration system. This will mean that you only register once for both semester one and two at the beginning of each academic year. It's easy as ABC. Step one, to access your portal to the DUT website, open the following link in your browser, www.dut.ac.za and click on the students tab. Step two, accessing the student self-service system. Under the Student Services tab, click on the Student Self-Service. Step 3. Login screen. In this screen, enter your student number and PIN to log in. Don't have a PIN? It's no train smash. Just enter your student number, then click on Request a PIN. A PIN will be emailed to your DUT for Life email address. First time students, please note that your PIN will be preset to the first five digits of your ID number. Step 4. Registration. Ensure that your personal details are correct. Thereafter, click Registration tab to display all the submenus. Each process is dependent on the previous one, so click them in the order they appear. Step 5. Registration Restrictions The Registration Restrictions tab will show you your different statuses at DUT. A student must not have any stop registration statuses to be able to register. For financial issues, contact the Department of Finance. For other statuses, contact Department of Student Admissions or Faculty Office for assistance. A student must have an Allow Web Registration status to be able to register on the web. Ensure that your minimum registration fee is paid prior to processing with the online registration process. Step 6. Rules and Regulations Click on Rules and Regulations. You have to read and accept the institutional rules before proceeding to the next step. Click on I accept to continue with the online registration. The comprehensive rule books are available on the DUT website or from your faculty office. Step 7. Submit registration. Once you have accepted the rules and regulations and you have been admitted for online registration, the following screen will automatically appear. Click on the next section, Submit Registration. Check that you are registered for the correct qualification, offering type, block code, and study period. Click on the drop down menu and enter your employment status. See important notes. Semester students, please note that in January you will be allowed to register for subjects even if the subjects selected have requisites. However, after publication of mid year results, any second semester subjects with a failed requisite will be cancelled automatically. A full remission of fee will be granted for those cancelled subjects. If you do not have subjects for the entire year and you can only register for one semester, please contact your faculty office before you proceed with your registration. Then click on Save and Continue. Step 8. Subject Selection You are now required to select all the subjects that you qualify for in accordance with the rules of the relevant qualification. All compulsory modules are pre-selected for you. You cannot change these modules. If you have the electives to choose from, please read the group rules and select the number of subjects required in that group. Click on the checkbox next to the subject to select that particular subject if it is an elective or available for registration. Click on Save and Continue button if you are sure that you have selected the right subjects and offering types and periods of studies. Step 9. Subject Verification This screen shows you the selected subjects mode of study, academic period, credits, and attendance type. You are now required to verify the subjects you have selected. If you're not happy with the selection, click on Restart Process. If you are happy with the selection of subjects, click on Continue. Step 10. Accepting the registration with costs. This screen shows you the total costs incurred for the registration. The system will now provide you with the fee details for the subjects that you have selected. 
Click on Accept Registration to accept the registration and the costs incurred for this registration. If you click on Restart Process, note that you are not registered. Step 11. Address Validation. This screen allows you to view, edit, and verify your address details, as well as enter new address details. To view your address, click on the blue address type. You may also change and update your address details here. Click on New Record if you want to add a new address. Please ensure that you update your address details accurately and timelessly, as the university would use these details to correspond with you. Address validation continues. Click on this drop-down box to view the different communication types. Select the type and enter the details and save. Follow this process for all the different types of communication you want to enter. Step 12. Other important contact information. The screen allows you to view, edit, and verify other important contact information. Please ensure that you update your contact details accurately and timelessly, as the university would use these details to contact you or your next of kin, as well as send SMSs to your cell phone for important and urgent messages. Step 13. Proof of registration. To email proof of registration, click on Email proof of registration. To email a proof of your registration details, enter your email address. To print proof of registration details, click on Proof of Registration PDF. Click on this icon to print. You will require this document and your ID document to get your student card from Campus Protection Services. Step 14. To view process status. Click on Process Status. Ensure that you have completed all compulsory steps in this process. Once completed, click Next Step. Below screen will appear. Click OK. Congratulations! You have now successfully completed all the steps in the online registration process. Make sure you log out of your session. Remember to proceed to Protection Services with your print proof of registration and ID documents to collect your student cards. Remember that you can always access the Enabler system at any time.